Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> Ella has been waiting a very long yeah, time. Look. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh. Get it out. Oh. <laughs> if you're like me and you've been on the fence whether you should or shouldn't get a cover board for your kids, well, on this week's Tech Tip Tuesday, I examine a board that might just give you the solution you've been looking for. Hey, welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. My name's Liron Segev, where every Tuesday I share with you tips and tricks making you more productive, more efficient, and getting more out of your systems. If this sounds something that you like, smash that subscribe button, and let's get on to today's show. So this is it, let me introduce you to the Jairo 8.5 inch off-road all-terrain hoverboard. This little guy can carry a weight of up to 130 kilograms, can travel 11.2 miles and a maximum speed of 10 miles per hour. You can even climb a gradient and climbing angle of 30 degrees, which is pretty steep. Now that we've got the specs out the way, the important question is, can kids ride it, how simple it is to use, can adults do it? Well let's get into it so when you power on the gyro hoverboard it self balances itself and this is literally ella's first time of trying the board so she's a little bit hesitant she's holding on to the wall just as she gets her balance and within a couple of seconds she's pretty much good to go this is literally the first time she's got on this board right now Riding a hoverboard is all about confidence and being able to trust the equipment and this is literally the next day. Um, you can see she's riding it very confident, went out to the local park just to have more space to be able to test the board even more and um, she's riding it like she's been riding it for absolute ever. Full control, nice and stable, is able to turn left, right, circles on the spot. This is exactly, exactly what you want from a hoverboard. And then it was my turn. Now, I haven't ridden a hoverboard either, so for me it was also a good test to see how well this gyro performs, and it was perfect. I mean, got on, basically got my balance, and it just took care of the rest. Now, admittedly, when it comes to agility, I was still getting the hang of the whole control swerving left and right, and it usually ended well, except sometimes it didn't. I must say I'm very pleasantly surprised with this board. I mean, I am more of the electric skateboard kind of guy, but this hoverboard has changed my mind. The wheels, I think, make a huge, huge difference. Nice and comfortable, and they really cushion your ride. I think the technology that's built into this, the self-balancing technology, that's always been kind of, we've been wary of that. That is done really, really well. And just overall, the build quality on this is really, really cool. You feel like you're getting a quality product, not these cheap mass market, mass produced hoverboards just to flood the market. And just the versatility of this board really is a good addition to your collection. Now, the fact that you can go from concrete straight onto the grass or the off-road, well, that's also a big plus. Now, I am absolutely not at that level yet. I was still finding my feet, never mind trying to work out how to ride on grass. But even I managed to get a couple of laps in around my garden with no problem. Um, although, I do think that's going to take a little bit of getting used to it. So, a couple of other features that we didn't mention yet is the first one is the lights. Um, they're really cool when you're riding towards the evening. And they also not only just look cool, they also keep you safe so other people can see that you're coming. The board has a built-in Bluetooth speaker system, which is actually pretty good quality. I'm not sure how often I would use that, but if you do want to hook up your phone to your board and share your music around with the people around you, you can obviously do that. So if you're like me and you've been on the fence whether you should or shouldn't get a hoverboard, I can say that this one is of great quality, nice and safe, 
really easy to ride even for a first time rider like me and my kids and we're having so much fun with this so link will be in the description below go and check these guys out and if you're into this please give this video a thumbs up really helps the channel a lot let me know what else you want to see here leave it in the comments below subscribe if you're new here of course and i'll see you on the next episode of tech tip tuesday cheers for now